Authorities say no one was hurt when a small plane skidded off a runway at Chesapeake Regional Airport. Now it happened around 11 o'clock this morning. A 13 News Now reporter Stephen Graves was first on the scene. He joins us there live right now. Hey, Stephen. Hey, Erin, tonight we know that state police are classifying this as a crash. I'm standing at the very location where the gates open, where first responders were just filing into the airport earlier this morning. You see that plane is still behind me, nose down, as people try to figure out why this happened. Tuesday morning, a rare sight at Chesapeake Regional Airport, a small plane nose down circled by first responders. There's very, very few incidents here at the airport um, in Chesapeake, and uh, this is the first one that I've ever, you know, been on where we've had to come out here like this. 13 News Now was first on scene as Virginia State Police were investigating. Chesapeake Assistant Fire Marshal Lieutenant Tony Barricat and his crews were called after a reported fuel leak. Obviously, that's a major concern with aircraft crashes is, is there fuel leaking? Um, where is that stuff going? But at this point in time, it was classified really just as a slow, slow drip. Police say the crash call came in around 11. They say the Cessna plane was trying to take off near gate 12 when it skidded off the runway. Yeah, there is a runway that it was clearly in line with um, that it is off the end of that runway. Two people were inside, but Barricat says they were already out of the plane when crews arrived. Both reported no injuries. We didn't find anything uh, suspicious with their uh, demeanor or anything like that. And that's the fortunate part in all of this. State authorities actually say the plane belongs to a flight instruction school at the airport. No word on what caused this. We went to the school to ask if high wind gusts blowing throughout the day were a factor, but they refused to comment. A scary sight that thankfully wasn't worse. And the plane is still out here because state police tell us federal investigators will be looking into the cause of this crash. That's the latest here in Chesapeake. I'm Stephen Graves, 13 News Now.